Sean had some crayons. It doesn't say how many, so we'll just put a question mark. Myra gave him eight more crayons. Here are the crayons that Myra gave Sean. Now, Sean has 11 crayons. So here are the crayons he already had at the beginning and the crayons that Myra gave him. An unknown number that he had to start with plus the eight that Myra gave him is 11 crayons. Let's add snap cubes to the train of eight crayons that Myra gave Sean to figure out how many Sean had to begin with. That was eight, nine, 10, 11. These are the three crayons Sean had to begin with. 3 plus 8 equals 11. Let's try this problem again, but this time with bigger numbers. Sean had some crayons, so we'll place a question mark because that number is unknown. Myra gave him 68 more crayons. So here are the crayons that Myra gave Sean. Now Sean has 78 crayons. We need to figure out how to find the unknown number. I'm going to use subtraction to figure out my unknown number. 78 minus 68 is 10. 10 plus 68 is 78. First, let's represent Myra's crayons. The problem says, Sean had six more crayons than Myra. That means he had the same number that Myra had, and then he had six more than Myra. So here's six more than Myra. One, two, three, four, five, six and these are Sean's. All of these are Sean's crayons. Eight plus six, which equals 14. Sean has 14 crayons. Let's take a look at this same problem, but with larger numbers. First, let's represent Myra's crayons. She had 318 crayons. Sean has 216 more crayons than Myra. That means he has the same number that Myra had, 318, and he also had 216 more. All of these are Sean's crayons. 318 plus 216, which equals 534 crayons. 